alguma coisa, pode me chamar, tá bom? Que eu estou sempre disponível para vocês. Obrigada. Hi everyone, I'm Chama Vera Oba. Yeah, I live and reside in São Paulo, Brazil. I took my NCLEX on the 14th of August and to the glory of God, I passed at 85. Yeah! <laughs> okay, um, I actually schooled in Brazil. I did my nursing school here in Brazil. And uh, some of you know, in Brazil, we don't speak English, we speak Portuguese language. So our study, it's all in Portuguese. When I started studying for the NCLEX, uh, it really impacted so much me because i was totally lost at first i couldn't follow up with the lectures at such point like um um the other medical terms they are all strange to me i don't even know where to start from i'm used to everything was totally different i remember the first class i attended was pharmacology and i was totally lost even while the students were asking questions that for sandra was asking i felt i was just totally alone because I couldn't follow up the lectures since it's something totally different from what I know. Uh, the endless journey was last if I was just starting nursing school from the very scratch just because of that that language barrier. I couldn't relate to not. I couldn't say, oh, this is something that I already knew. No, everything was totally new to me. I just had to learn every. I had some material that were very helpful to me uh, during my preparation. In Search Point, we have a Search Point library. I know a lot of students don't know about that library, but uh, I would say it's a treasure that I discovered that helped me a lot because me normally I'm not the reading type. That textbook son that scares me away so much. So what I did was I went to Search Point library. Somebody, someone actually told me about it. So I went there's this lady, Junko lady. I downloaded her audios and then I was listening to them when I'm cooking, when I'm doing anything. She literally helped me to cover up most of the topics. Yeah, because on my own I couldn't have done that since I'm not the one that just sit down and start reading. Even during our our search point lectures, I was good at downloading all the notes because the nurses we always instruct us towards the end of each section. Like Remember to download your notes. So once I just said that, I'll just quickly go and download my notes. And that really helped me because I went through uh, some of those notes, the ones I, I was able to before going for my test. I also listened to some videos from Simple Nursing. I listened to my K and I used U-Word very well. Like U-Word was one material I know I really uh, used very well. And that's a search point library. So currently I haven't registered with any agency. But I'm looking forward to registering with those agencies that we are suggested by the uh, recommended by the Search Point Academy. Like we have the O Grade Pythons, we have the Connectics, we have the those ones that were recommended. That, those are the ones that I want to be registering with because uh, I listened to a video where was Sandra was kind of telling us the things we should watch out for in an agent, what we should look out for, so in order not to make mistakes. So I believe that someone who was able to give such an advice to his to her nurses would know what is best yeah for us. So I'm I'm just going with them. And not only that, I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube that talks about these same agencies of how good they are. So I'll be going uh with them. Okay. So I really want to advise um some of the nurses uh, or our nurses that didn't study in English language just like me they had difficulties I want to say you shouldn't give up okay please just continue doing your best you know in this US journey ah oh my god we don't give up in the journey no matter what even language cannot even stop us saying even if you don't study in English just like me yeah and you have difficulty just keep going keep going keep studying keep following the material because me from the beginning I found it very difficult but as time goes on the, it's something uh, it began like I began to understand much better and I and uh, the materials now started making sense to me unlike before yeah I so I I want to encourage you to pick to keep going on studying doing your best you will come out greatly too I want to thank uh, my boss I said I had one-on-one -on -one boss boss Evelyn yeah, it was it wasn't easy uh, at all, I don't want to commend her for her day. She, she really did great with me because when she was teaching me, she found that I had a lot of difficulty, especially with, with understanding things in English. So she would ask me a question. I do know what she's asking, but I couldn't explain. So I'll just start speaking Portuguese for her. But she will just start laughing. But thankfully, <laughs> today I am where I am today because she really uh, was patient enough with me. I want to thank both Chris. 
if not for Chris, I don't know. I could, I, I wouldn't have found you uh, the endless exam very easy the way it was because he made me to redo you word over and over again, and that really paid off. It really paid off because on the exam day, I found the question very easy. I didn't see anything getting tough. It was literally easy. That when my computer shut off at eighty five, I just knew that I had passed the my test yeah so thank you so much God, it was great i want to thank our boss sandra for the platform and for encouragement to me when i was confused on what material to use yeah thank you so much i want to thank thank a uh, boss florence bala she was really helpful to me and boss peck too god bless you boss peck thank you so much and so i want to thank uh, mr nmc that came through for me when i i I was literally lost. Thank you so much, Mr. NMC. God bless you. I want to also thank my reading partners, Tayor, Esther, and Dami. Thank you so much. Love you all. And everyone that is listening to me right now, thank you so much. Please don't give up on your US dream, okay? Even if you've written the anklet before you didn't pass, keep on going. Stay with such points because I know that God will help you and you will come out great by the special grace of God. So thank you so much. I really appreciate you all. God bless you. Bye. Então, gente, é isso mesmo. Muito obrigada. Se vocês precisarem de alguma coisa, pode me chamar, tá bom? Que eu estou sempre disponível para vocês. Obrigada. Tchau. Beijo.